Alrighty guys, Saturday, October 9th today. Kinda got a late start. I wanted to hunt the morning, but uh I accidentally missed my alarm once again. So <laughs> woke up, it was like 7 a.m. So I just worked on some videos. And right now it's about 11 and I'm gonna head up and uh, kayak into the spot. It's looking pretty good. I mean, normally I don't really hunt this spot early season. Mostly I just like kind of target it, you know, come to rut and stuff. Just because a lot of times these bucks aren't really out there. So I'm not really expecting to shoot a buck, but we'll see what happens. Uh, winds out of the east. Uh, it's real high pressure, like 30.9, I think, last I looked. So Take it's kind of overcasty. Then turn right so. Also pretty chilly, it's like 66 degrees, which for October 9th, down here in Southeast Pennsylvania, that's pretty good. So, I'm gonna head up here, float in, probably got about, I don't know, probably about an hour float in, straight upstream, which sucks, but it is what it is. So we're gonna do that, and hopefully kill a deer, hopefully get to float one out, so see what happens. Alright guys, well, just got to the bank. As you can see, so far, I'm really not seeing a whole lot of deer sign in here. But this is just a decent kind of pool. I've spot I pulled off here before. So I'm gonna get my stuff on. Check out Spartan Forge. I pinned a couple spots back home and head in. So I'm gonna take a little breather though before I head in. I'm I'm hot.
Tree goes in. She was right there on that other side. So I just packed up all my stuff. I'm gonna start trailing her. It's probably been, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. So I know she's dead. I heard her go down over here. So, but as far as staying to shoot another one, I mean, I could if I really wanted to, but all in all, I'm kind of content with what I got. Plus the yak. <laughs> I don't want to fit too many deer on the yak. So, especially not with how high the river is. So, yeah pretty wild. I'm gonna go trailer now. That's a good sign right there guys. She's standing right here. That was my tree right there. Pretty wild. Pulled all my stuff. I guarantee you she's laying right here and then I can follow the blood trail without even hardly looking. It's crazy. There she is, guys. Yes! This is awesome. Well, here she is. I was able to fill my uh, first PA doe tag of the year. Pretty freaking awesome, ain't it? And there was two of them. They actually, uh, there was a boat that passed by and uh, she, they blew them. And then all of a sudden, like two minutes later, here, here they come into the opening. Doop. And first one kind of worked through. Got my bow over and uh yeah she wasn't too lucky but <laughs> pretty awesome man this is my uh man i'm sorry i'm getting hammered i guess this is my uh first deer of the die rad saddle i shot a buck uh, a couple weeks ago on the ground and i was really eager to break in but yeah Broke it in tonight. So far, I've been really impressed with the thing. It's super sleek, super compact. I mean, it folds right up into itself into that little pouch. And then I'm able to put it in my backpack. I mean, I have way more room versus my other saddle. So it's been a game changer, super comfortable. Uh, if you guys want, we got a little promo code for you guys. See if you guys 10% if you do want to buy it. So make sure to check it out. The, the link is in the description there and the code is too. So, but yeah, can't beat this though, man. It's just awesome being able to come out here piece of public pick a random tree one that sets up well I saw that saw that scrape I knew there was deer in here I smelled them I mean I knew I was gonna see some deer tonight and sure enough they came out so reason I didn't wait for a buck is because on this little piece I mean we don't really get a whole lot of buck pictures honestly it's been mostly does so I, I kind of was coming in here expecting to shoot a doe so but saw that scrape and just the sign in there I knew there was just deer in there so that's why I chose that spot, but yeah, set up perfect. East wind, I don't really have many spots for east winds, but <laughs> set up well today. So I'm gonna go get her gutted, get her tug, and drag her probably 400 yards back to the yak, and then float her out, so. But man, what an awesome day out in the woods. Thanks, girl. Well, pretty cool ending for today. Love getting to float them out. So if you guys like watching this video, make sure to subscribe, like our channel, share our videos. I think this one was a pretty cool video, <laughs> obviously. But all right, guys, see you on the next one.